Hey guys, it's Sean Coates. We've made a lot of cool projects so far, but the worlds we build always feel a little too quiet. So in this one, we're bringing the scene to life by adding a wandering AI character that actually walks around on its own. I'm using Unreal Engine version 5.5.4 for this tutorial. I started in the third person map since it already includes Manny skeletal mesh and animations. You can use any project you want, just make sure your character has a skeletal mesh and some basic animations. This setup will work with any humanoid model. You may just need to tweak a few steps depending on your character's rig or naming conventions. In the content browser, right click and create a new blueprint class. Choose character as the parent class and name it BPNPC. Next, create another blueprint class, but this time choose AI controller as the parent. Name it ACNPC. Open ACNPC and from event begin play at a run behavior tree node. This will let our AI execute the logic we'll define later in the behavior tree. Now open BPNPC. Select the mesh component and in the details panel, change the skeletal mesh to SKM underscore Manny. Set the location Z to negative 90 and rotation Z to negative 90. Still inside BPNPC, click on BPNPC self in the components panel, not the mesh. Then in the details panel under pawn AI, set the AI controller class to ACNPC. Finally, change auto possess AI to placed in world or spawned. Back in the content browser, right click, scroll over artificial intelligence and select behavior tree. Name it BT underscore NPC. Open the behavior tree and from the root add a selector node. From that selector, add a sequence node. This will define the AI's main set of actions. Now at the top of the behavior tree window, click new task to create a custom task. Name it BTT underscore NPC. Open BTT NPC and in the graph tab, open the functions dropdown. Choose override, then select receive execute AI. This is the event that runs when the task is executed inside the behavior tree. Drag out from receive execute AI and add an AI move to node. Set the acceptance radius on that node to 100. Then connect the controlled pawn pin from the event to the pawn input on the AI move to node. Next, Drag out from controlled pawn again and add a get actor location node. From the return value, add a get random reachable point and radius node. Set the radius to 1000. This controls how far your AI will wander. If your map is large, you can increase this value. If it's small, lower it for tighter roaming. Connect the random location of get random reachable point in radius to the destination pin on your AI move to node. Finally, from the AI move to node itself, drag out from on success and add a finish execute node with success checked to true. Then drag out from on fail and add another finish execute node with success left unchecked or false. 
head back to your behavior tree, the one we created earlier, bt underscore npc. From the sequence node, drag out and add the btt npc task we just built. Then from that same sequence, drag out again and add a wait node. With the wait node selected, open the details panel and set the wait time to two. Set the wait deviation to one. This adds a small random delay before the AI chooses its next movement location, making the behavior look a bit more natural. Next, open your AC NPC controller. In the details panel, assign the behavior tree asset to the BT underscore NPC we just configured. In the content browser, go to content, then characters, then mannequins, and then animations. Duplicate ABP underscore Manny and rename the copy to ABP underscore NPC. Open ABP underscore NPC and delete everything in the event graph except for the event blueprint update animation node. Under that node, right click and add a try get pawn owner node. From its return value, add an is valid node. Connect event blueprint update animation to the is valid node. From the return value of try get pawn owner, drag out and cast to bp underscore mpc. On the cast to bp underscore npc node, right click the as bp npc pin and select promote to variable. Next, drag the new as bp npc variable into the graph and choose get. Right click on it and select convert to validated get. Now connect the is valid execution pin from the is valid node to the validated get node. Finally, connect the is not valid execution pin from the validated get back to the cast to bp underscore npc node. From the validated get node, drag out from its is valid pin and add a branch node. From the try get pawn owner return value, drag out and add an is player controlled node. Connect the boolean return value from is player controlled to the condition pin on the branch node. Next, drag in another as b p n p c variable and choose get. From that, drag out and add a get velocity node. From get velocity, drag out its return value and add a vector length node. This converts the 3D velocity vector into a single float value that represents the NPC's movement speed. Right click on the return value pin from vector length, select promote to variable and name it speed. Finally, connect the false execution pin from the branch node to your new set speed node. Now let's tie the animation logic to our speed variable so the MPC transitions smoothly between idle and walking. In ABP underscore MPC, go to the anim graph on the left. Delete the control rig and all the boolean variables under it. We don't need those for this setup. Next, connect the slot called default slot directly to the output pose. Click on the locomotion state machine. Inside it, open the walk or run state. Delete the existing ground speed variable and replace it with the speed variable you created in the previous step. Now, go back to the locomotion graph and click the idle to walk or run transition rule. Delete the should move boolean, then drag in your speed variable. From speed, drag out and add a greater than node. 
set the value to 10 and connect its output to the result node. Return to the locomotion graph again and click the walk or run to idle transition rule. Delete both should move and not boolean nodes. Drag in the speed variable once more and this time add a less than node. Set the value to 10 and connect it to the result node. We're ready to bring everything to life. Open BP underscore NPC and in the details panel, find the animation section. Under Anim class, change it to ABP underscore NPC, the animation blueprint we just created. Now back in your level, click the quickly add to project button in the toolbar. Search for nav mesh bounds volume and add one to your scene. With the nav mesh bounds volume selected, open the details panel, click the lock icon to enable uniform scaling and set the scale on all axes to 30. This gives your AI plenty of space to roam freely. Finally, place one or several BP underscore NPC actors into your level, then click play. You should see your NPC characters automatically start wandering around the map, walking, stopping, and changing direction at random intervals. Congratulations, you just built a fully functional roaming AI system in Unreal Engine using only blueprints. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something valuable, and I'll see you in the next one.